It was a long path to this meeting. President Jalal Talabani greeting the Iraqi Prime Minister and his political rivals. Around the same table for the first time in weeks. A stormy four hours into the closed door meeting, they announced they were authorizing talks with the United States. All those present agreed to authorize the government of Iraq to start negotiations with the American side. According to Iraq's foreign minister, it's just a first step in the difficult talks ahead. Now we have uh, a unanimous or almost unanimous decision by all the political leaders to start negotiation. The next thing will come actually, what are the needs, the numbers? Almost unanimous because the Sutterists, a key part of Maliki's coalition government, plan to vote against it. This senior lawmaker says they would consider contracts with U.S. military trainers, but only after the current troops pull out. If these forces left and the military bases were handed over to the Iraqi government, then there is a possibility to sign an agreement after 2011, whether with the United States or with another, for training. Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr has threatened more attacks on troops by his military wing if the soldiers stay. For now, he's been mobilizing political support against the U.S. troop presence in Iraq's only major protest movement. What started as broad-based anti-government protests here have fizzled out. Last week, Maliki supporters and plainclothes security police threatened and forced out demonstrators from Tahrir Square. The street, a symbol of culture and diversity, has increasingly become a refuge for demonstrators demanding reform. It's a sign of what appears to be an increasingly divided country, one in which political factions are driving people even further apart. This Friday, the first during Ramadan, when many Iraqis fast during the day, Tahrir Square was almost empty. And despite the rare agreement from political leaders that they want some of the U.S. soldiers to stay, a lot of Iraqis are deeply suspicious. Who is behind all this? We don't know what is happening behind the scenes. What they do know is that whatever decision is made won't involve them. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.